Yes, Wednesday was really a, a turning point. So today has been described as both a critical and difficult uh, day for the police service around the United Kingdom as officers uh, deal with protests and the return of the football season. Uh, there are both uh, far-right and anti-racism gatherings planned uh, that have taken place in different locations across uh, the country. Uh, and the start of the English Football League season means that thousands of football fans uh, are travelling around the UK. So that uh, was seen as a, a potential flashpoint and problem. But so far, we've heard of no major clashes, no reports uh, of clashes between anti-immigration protesters and riot police, no clashes between uh, groups. What we have seen are peaceful demonstrations uh, across the country, including here in the British capital uh, in London. Some tension, I understand, in Liverpool, where police uh, did have to separate two groups, the anti-immigration uh, protests and then the anti-racism um, we're seeing some of those slogans on screen right now. Let's remember that these violent clashes that erupted after that fatal attack and killing of three little girls aged between six and nine on the 29th of July uh, were all sparked by uh, lies, basically, provocation uh, via social media, particularly of people uh, claiming that that had been perpetrated by an illegal migrant. Now, that was uh, completely wrong. But let's remember also that these violent protests have already led to the arrest of 700 people. That is really extremely high. Uh, 200 of them have already been charged. And there have been some very serious uh, sentences already in jail for people who committed offences days before. Some have got 18 months, others two years, some three years. And they haven't even, while waiting to go before a judge, uh, been bailed. They've gone straight to jail. And authorities have really been cracking down on those who've played a role in this unrest, and they've already jailed several people who they found responsible, as you said. Yes, um, and it is, you're quite right, important to underline that because it's been both the people who've caused problems like attacking, uh, whether it's mosques, uh, attacking sometimes uh, individuals, Muslims, uh, for example, people uh, of, from ethnic minorities, att attacking sometimes just community centres, uh, you know, provocation in the streets. But there's also been, there have already begun to be uh, some sentencing of people who were doing online incitement. And that really is, I think, been very interesting. And it's seen as both the strength of the police, the swift justice of people being judged within days, magistrates, judges being uh, called in uh, to deal with these cases, other cases being delayed in order to really show that people, there are very serious consequences if you do attack the police, if you attack individuals, if you incite uh, racism. Uh, and there is a determination uh, from the Prime Minister himself, Keir Starmer, from the new Home Secretary, Yvette Cooper. Let's remember, this government has been in power for five weeks uh, and they are absolutely determined to crack down. And really, this seems to have acted as a deterrent. Uh, and so far, it seems that things have really calmed down. And since Wednesday evening, these anti-racism uh, protests are the ones that have been peaceful and are the ones that have been in the streets across the United Kingdom.